take us through that and the success you think you guys had in the first half? Um, I think it was as we game plan this week, you know, we stuck to our game plan saying that we had to contain him and we had to rush together and we had to rush as a unit and nobody can be selfish. And we all just had to <clears throat> play as a team and play up front as a team and just hold our gaps and be responsible for be responsible to do our job. You know, same thing. You know, we just got to we, we came out and did what coach uh, told us to do. That's the most important thing. Uh, and I just think we got to take from this game is, you know, keep keep working together, just keep growing as a defense. Uh, Cameron, can you just talk about uh, your big day today and just talk about the whole receivers and uh, how y'all played? Uh, and also, ball, just, I'm sorry, just take me through that, uh, your touchdown catches as well. Um, it felt, touchdowns felt great, but it felt even better knowing that I helped my team uh, gain a victory. And um, I know we're going to build off of this week and get better for next week. And yes, the receivers played great, and we're just going to get better. Yes, sir. And could you also talk about just take me through those touchdowns and what uh, what you were seeing? Um, down the red area, they had blitz zero, so I knew I was gonna have to get into my route. My first touchdown, I had to get in my route quick and get my head and eyes around, knowing that the ball gonna come out quick. And the second one, they they just, <laughs> I, yeah, I just caught the ball and ran. That's all. <laughs> but that's all I gotta say. Again, for the defensive guys, did, did Miami do what you guys were expecting them to do offensively? Was their plan what you guys thought they were going to do? And um, I, I know you guys, in the second half, they, they put up some yardage in a couple of those drives. What, what do you think changed between the, what was successful to that to that point? Uh, I think we just got to finish. Uh, and that's, that's going to be a big thing for us in the future is finishing, you know, all four quarters. Um, all four quarters, we got to finish the whole game out. Uh, I think we kind of let up and lay back towards the end, and that's something we got to fix quickly. I, I got a question I'm, ho I'm hoping everyone can answer. You know, last year was really weird. There were no fans uh, or limited fan attendance. This this game, there were fans. The stadium was full. What was it like for for you guys? Um, it was cool. You know, when you're on the field, like, I don't know, for me, as for me, when I'm on the field, I kind of like zone all that stuff out and just try to focus on the job I have to do to help my teammates and just try to lock in on getting the call and doing my job. But it was cool having the fans there just supporting us and loving us and, you know, just the noise and all that. It was good. You know, you really got to lock in now. You know, it's a lot of noise, so you really got to lock in and, you know, get the call and communicate. Uh, and that, that's also something else we got to do well. And I, I'm, I'm glad the fans back me. Um, it bring a lot of excitement to my game, and I feed off of it. I hope I know we'll do too. <laughs> yep. uh, for for Will and um, for Darian, could you talk about the fourth down stop, uh, and then just kind of what a boost it seems like Miami maybe had something going there down by the goal line, and and then uh, you know obviously um, for the offensive guys, turn it into a 94-yard touchdown a couple plays later. You know, I think it just goes back to that, chem that team chemistry we've been building and everybody locking in and doing their job and, you know, not one person being selfish, but everybody, all 11 on the field, playing the same play, same call, and getting the job done. And I think that's what that went back to. Same thing. You know, we had to lock in, lock in and get the play call and everybody on the same page. It, it all started with communication, and, and, and it, it got us where we needed to be. For, for Will and, and Phil, sorry if you guys, my apologies if you've already been asked, but thoughts about Chris Allen and how tough that is for him losing him this, this early in the season, and, and how does this defense go forward without him? Let's see. My boy's going to be back, man. Yeah, we good. He's going to be good. He's going to be back. We good. Hey, Bryce, uh, just curious, was there a touchdown that felt the best to throw today? No, uh, not at all. Um, anytime you can help the team um, put points to the board, that's our goal as offense. So um, there wasn't any touchdown that was better. Whether I was, whether it's a, a pass touchdown, a rushing touchdown, every touchdown, anytime we can put points to the board, it, it's, it's a good thing. That's obviously the goal of every drive. So they're all the same for us. 
Yeah, for Bryce and Cam, uh, I guess you first, Bryce. Just it seems like you have a pretty good uh, connection with Cam just from the off season and, and then today. What is that like? And then I guess the same question to Cam. What, what is it? What is your chemistry like with with Bryce? Yeah, um, it's a lot of work in the off season. Um, you know, a lot of reps in practice, a lot of reps after practice. Um, you know, with us getting on the same page, and I think that's the key with any you know any good o uh, offense. Um, you know, make sure everyone's on the same page, and you know. We've been working to build that connection. Obviously, me and Cam have been doing it, us and the receivers. Everyone offense has been working a lot this offseason to build that connection. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I say we got good connection, but it just all comes from the hard work from that we do day in and day out. Everybody usually does has a piece of that on the offense and um, just repetition. That's it. Uh, for Bryce, uh, after all the talk in the off season and all the pressure, how good did, did it feel to just get out there and play today, and not only to play but to play so well, just for you and the team as a whole? Yeah, it felt great. Um, it, it felt great. Obviously, anytime there's off season, there's a lot of anticipation, and you know you, you start to get a little anxious. But for us to get the first one out of the way, um, you know, did some good things, did some stuff for us to improve on. Um, you know, we get to put it up on tape, get to learn from it. Um, good start to the year, but we know you know we have to keep working week in, week out. Um, but, you know, it, it was definitely fun. It's fun always being out there with my guys. Um, so, so it was definitely a lot of fun, but we have a lot of growth and a lot of, a lot of improvement left to do. Uh, for you, Cam, uh, Coach Saban just talked about your transition from outside backer and you buying in and how he came to you. Can you describe, like, how that situation went and how fulfilled you may feel tonight, you know, after a couple of touchdowns in a big game? Um, yeah, so I came in as an outside linebacker, and a year later, uh, we were just low on outside, on tight ends, and they just wanted to see if I could fit into that scheme on offense and see what I could do to fill a little void from having less tight ends. And it was a pretty deep outside linebacker group. So I just took a chance and trusted the coaches and just put in the work day in and day out. And it just it's good. Two more. Hey, Bryce, just wanted to ask about the first – Bryce, your first throw, they, the first play call, you you were throwing deep. You know, they weren't asking you to throw a screen pass or, a, you know, a get to know you kind of play. How did that feel and what was that moment like being, you know, on the field for the first time as a starting quarterback? Yeah, no, that, that um, you know, really just getting that trust from OB, from Coach Saban, that, that speaks volumes as a quarterback, especially, you know, me who I, I know, you know, prior, you know, it's technically hadn't, hadn't taken a starting snap, but for him to, to, to trust me and, and, you know, we knew it a little bit from the plan going in, but to know we we're going to take a shot early um, and for him to, to trust me and, and, and not try to hold back or, or change any play calls, that means a lot. And I, I feel like um, that was definitely trust I was trying to build and establish the off season. But having that trust from Coach Saban and from uh, OB, is, it, it means a lot to me. Last one. Bryce, uh, for people who haven't like known who you are for a while, you've been kind of at the top of the food chain from IE Ducks all the way to you know, you know Matter Day, and and now you're here. People kind of expected you to have sort of a filling out period, but is it sort of you know, I guess a confidence builder that you are who people thought you were, and even though there were so many questions like, can you handle it? Can you take the the mantle of this national championship program? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I'd say. Um, I'd say I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel too much of that. Really, for me, um, you know, external pressure, something that's always going to be there. It's not really something that I'm focused on, and we're focused on it as a group. Um, for me, it was just um, trying to, trying to do my best to help the team, and that's what's always been, and that's what's going to be um, for as long as I'm, you know, for for all season. Um, you know, it's just doing what I can to execute the game plan. Us coming out, working during the during the week, and then executing on the weekend. So, um, you know. I'm not really a big, broad, you know, big picture type of guy. It's, it, it's what week are we on, who are we preparing for, and um, that's all I was focused on. And really, I got a lot of confidence and a lot of um, boost from my teammates on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, everybody just have, I'm blessed to have the team that I have, and um, a lot of confidence came from them and the work we put in, but I've just been focused on this game. All right, thank you guys. Come on. I'm taking my shit.